what intense emotions slash manifestations are bubbling up to the surface for you, dreamy dreamers? Hey, everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ, and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is a full moon pick a card for the super full moon in the sign of Aquarius. And I know y'all y'all have to feel this energy right now because I know I've been feeling it really intensely since yesterday, okay? So today is uh, the 28th or the 29th of July, and, uh, and the full moon is on August 1st, okay? Or that's the, the peak of the full moon, okay? So we have three piles, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I am using the... Um, what deck is this? The Moonology Oracle deck. So pile number one, we have hold your vision with the fixed moon. And during my during the cleansing of this deck and the pre-shuffle of this deck, y'all, this came out twice. So yeah. So we have pile number one with hold your vision fixed moon with the Unikite Jasper Crystal. Pile number two, we have adjustments are required. Third quarter moon with the labradorite third eye crystal. And pile number three, we have you are good enough with full moon in Virgo with the watermelon tourmaline crystal. Okay, so I'll give you all some time to meditate on your pile selection, my dreamy dreamers. All right, so pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hey, pile number ones, welcome back to your reading. So before we get into your pile selection and your crystal selection, let's shuffle your cards. Um, for those of you all who would like to skip this part of the reading, your timestamp will be in the description box down below. I've already shuffled off camera, so let's begin. What intense emotions slash manifestations are coming up for our pile number ones during this full supermoon in Aquarius spirit? Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit. What intense emotions slash manifestations are coming up to the surface for our pile number ones during this full moon Full cool super moon in Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's bubbling up to the surface for our pile number ones during this full moon in Aquarius? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Okay, clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit. What's bubbling up to the surface for our pile number ones during this super full moon in the sign of Aquarius? Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Okay, and then we have our gratitude deck. We're going to get one card. What should pile number ones focus on? being grateful for right now spirit one card okay so we're gonna leave that there perfect all right pile number ones let's begin your reading okay so my lovely dreamy dreamers will put this over here actually you know what no it can go right here I feel like this is the perfect place for it Okay, Dreamy Dreamers, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose the Hold Your Vision Fixed Moon card. And, you know, I feel like this is very transparent. You can feel like intense emotions bubbling up to the surface right now for you, pile number ones, during this full moon and uh, during this full super moon in Aquarius, hence the name super moon. We're going to feel things double the way we felt them on a traditional full moon because this is... Uh, I feel like it's jam packed with, um, you know, the amalgamations of maybe things we've been trying to suppress over a certain period of time or wanting to, you know, be 
kind of like illuminated, right? So hold your vision, fixed moon. I feel like you're almost there. You're almost on to something. You just have to hold on a little tighter pile, number ones, okay? Um, but I do want to read a little bit from the Moonology Astrology deck about this fixed moon card. So give me a second. Some of you all could be fixed signs as well. So it says there are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in. The second, very different interpretation is that something is stuck. So you all could be feeling stuck. <clears throat> I'm feeling like the hangman energy, right? It says um, that could be that could well be referring to the situation you're asking about. If that's the case, have a think about what you can do to grease the wheel so that events move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great. Because if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in. Be the one to break a deadlock. With two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self-reflection. Um... It says attuned to the moon. Yes, just say the word a lot and see how it feels. So you could be needing to like say yes more to opportunities or things that are presented to you. You might be feeling stuck or stagnated, pile number ones, because you haven't really been utilizing your vocal cords or like, you know, the resources around you. Maybe you haven't been as industrious as you really can be, right? It says additional meanings for this card, staying power, faith or patience, are needed. Someone needs to back down, avoid stagnation. A personal or professional relationship will be enduring. Okay. So yeah. So it says in astrology, there are three quadruplicities, cardinal, fixed, immutable. The fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. So again, with this full moon energy, the super full moon energy being a sign of Aquarius, which is a fixed sign, you could be feeling all of the emotions that maybe uh, Aquarius is being a fixed sign you know, exude, maybe being a little stubborn, maybe standing their ground a lot in regards to how they feel about a situation or, a, you know, a circumstance, things of that nature. Now with the Unikite Jasper crystal, you might need to meditate more in order to get some type of heart and mind cohesion going on. Um, maybe you all have fallen off of your meditation routine and this full moon could be the prime time to pick it back up. Okay. So let's put this card to the side along with your crystal and begin your reading. We're going to save this gratitude card for the end uh, of your reading as well, pile number one. So let's begin. We have the North Node with Destined to Have. I love this card and I love this for you right now, pile number ones, because it offers some type of semblance that you are on the right path. If you haven't been feeling like you're on the right path, if you have been feeling stuck lately, you actually have the capacity to change it, right? You have the capacity if you've been feeling stuck because you've been feeling stubborn or haven't been wanting to do certain things that you know you can do to change your situation. Now is the time to do it. And I feel like for a lot of you, you have been doing it and you're just kind of feeling the inertia, right? Of growth. Like, when am I going to sprout? When am I going to sprout? When is this going to happen for me? Right. But you're on the right path and you're on the right course. So hold your vision and keep going because you, you really are on the precipice of what it is that you want. Okay. So we have Cardinal. We have uh, car the cardinal with instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit. Remember, uh, some of you all could be cardinal signs. What is that? Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Cap Capricorns. But what I'm getting here is that if you are on this journey where a lot of people, maybe either in your family or your lineage or the people around you have not done before or have gone on a quest right or a similar quest you have to realize that you are lighting the way so sometimes you're going to be in the dark right you see how this person's hand is lighting the way with that small little match that's all you need is a little light that little glimmer of hope to signify okay i'm on the right path i'm doing the right thing i could be feeling stuck or stagnated at times and it's because i don't really have a clear example of uh the path that i'm going on i am the example right you are the example pile number one so with that being said sometimes when you feel like you're in the dark 
uh, all you need is a tiny glimmer of hope to light your way. Um, maybe, um, you know, talk to some of the cardinal signs in your life about like how you can adjust to being on kind of like a solitary road right now when it comes to fulfilling your dreams. If you have that safe space to uh, speak to someone about uh, the things that you're going through, right? Again, some of you all, and I know this comes out a lot, some of you all might have your North Node in a cardinal sign, Aries, Cancer, Libra, or um, Capricorn as well. So, you know, be brave right now. Uh, continue to pillage ahead and continue to move forward, okay? And our last heavenly body astrology card is conjunction, a union merging and coming together. I love that. Things are coming together in your life right now, pile number ones. So continue to hold your vision. Something is coming to the surface. You are traversing the mountainous ranges that you might find yourself in. And although it was a long, hard, arduous journey, now things are going to become smoother in the process of getting to your goal, getting to your destination, right? And appreciating the path that you have been put on or the path that you decided to take in life, right? It's the hard times. It's the arduous journeys during certain times when we look back onto them that makes it all worth it in the end, right? Um, so, yeah. So, let's get into your tarot cards. So I'm just using a traditional right away tarot deck. Um, I felt compelled to. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so we have ten cards. So let's pull the first five and then we'll use the rest rest of the five for clarifiers. So we have judgment. I think this might be Aquarius energy too. I could be wrong, but I think it might be. We have strength. We have the tower. We have the five of pentacles. And we have the six of cups. Okay, pile number one. So a lot of major arcana. So here's your crux. You're, you're in this state of like transition right now. And with your first three cars being major arcanas, you're in huge life changes right now, right? With judgment, strength, and the tower. I feel like um, spirit, God, source energy, your angels, ancestors, and guides are really calling you to be strong right now because there's something about to like happen in your life, but it's going to require patience. It's going to require inner resilience and uh, some massive change, some massive change, right? I feel like some of you all could have felt like just left out in the cold. Like you're hanging on by a thread here. Like you're on your last leg and you're really hoping for some type of rescue, some type of like awakening aha moment, right? Um, or you could have been going through an awakening aha moment with the judgment card and the tower uh, in between the strength card, right? God, spirit, source energy is asking for your inner resilience. Now, something could really be bubbling up to the surface, maybe not even right in the midst of this full moon in Aquarius, but the 8-8 eight, eight portal. And I say that because a strength card has come out. And it's interesting because it's card number eight. And then this the human aspect of this card has an infinity sign over their head, which to me signifies double eight. So this could really be culminating during the um, the the peak of the Lionsgate portal or in conjunction with this full moon, super full moon in the sign of Aquarius and the Lionsgate portal because we're still in the midst of it and this Venus retrograde. So there's a lot of major transits happening right now. So it could really be affecting your, your mind, uh, your state of mind, right? But yeah, you, I feel like you're coming out of the uh, victimhood or like the woe is me or like a, a dark night of the soul or like feeling like you've been left out in the cold type of thing in regards to um, like your life path or something like that. And with the six of cups here, 
at the end of uh, your five cards, pile number one, what I'm getting is that some old childhood memories could be coming up. Um, and I feel like you are being presented with the opportunity to really confront your childhood memories and like kind of like not nip them in the bud, but allow them to come up to the surface so that you can deal with them accordingly. Right. Because it could be like a gift that, you know, your inner child wants to give to you. And if they're not being allowed to come up to the surface, then they're hidden in our subconscious mind. And that's where we find a lot of our stuckness. Like, why am I continuing to do the same things? Why are the same patterns keep taking place in my life? It's because there are a lot of our inner child, whatever, uh, strife, there's it's stuck in our subconscious so we don't really know how to like transmute that energy if it's stuck and if it's stagnated and if like we can't see it right if it's not brought to the surface so let's clarify the rest of your cards so we have the page of pentacles clarifying the um judgment card we have the eight of swords clarifying the strength card hold on because this is just like I feel like there are certain uh, limitations that you're placing on yourself, but you really do have the inner strength and resilience to get yourself out of uh, whatever like limitations or uh, self imprisonment that you're putting yourself in pile number um, pile number ones. Don't let your mind run amok. We have the 10 of cups with the tower. So I feel like, okay, let's, let's finish. We have the hermit with the five of pentacles. And then last card, we have the Fool with the Six of Cups. Now, I feel like there's going to be massive changes when it comes to maybe your family life, or there's going to be massive changes when it comes to your overall happiness and well-being. And um, I feel like this is a good sign that like there's going to be a completely stark change that happens in your life to where you're going to feel more relieved, you're going to feel more rejuvenated. Uh, yeah. And I feel like it's because like, it's interesting that we have the hermit clarifying the five of pentacles. I feel like there's still some inner work that needs to be done because you're basically embarking on a journey here, pile number ones, uh, that your inner child really has wanted you to be in all along. And um, it's new. So I feel like you um there's a there's a sense of innocence here with the fool and the six of cups um that is kind of like maybe bringing up old memories to the surface and with the judgment and the page of pentacles here i feel like there's this awakening moment that could be in regards to your material life and you planting new seeds or you your the seeds that you have planted um, and the, the work that you are doing is not in vain, right? Is what I'm getting here. But there's something new in regards to your material life that you may want to water and cultivate is what I'm getting. And, and a lot of this is bubbling up to the surface now with with this tower moment there is this kind of like there's definitely an awakening here in regards to like maybe what fulfills you and what what emotionally fulfills you and satiates you and what, what makes you happy like that overall happiness or satisfaction right but let's um let's look at some wisdom of the oracle cards to get more emphasis on your reading so we have card number 38, to be fair. Very interesting. So things are balancing out, right? Things are balancing out in your life. And I feel like because you're really leaning into your intuition and you in and of yourself are trying to find some state of balance in regards to the turbulence that's been happening for good, bad, or indifferent, right? Even when good things happen in our life, if it's a lot of good things all at once, it could be kind of a little startling. Like we have to kind of remove ourselves or compartmentalize so we can kind of take a breather and be able to actually digest the goodness that's happening in front of us instead of it just going so fast paced. We don't, we can't really see what's happening, right? We have card number 44 with Thinker. So I feel like take some time out. I'm getting this with the Hermit card. 
very much so too. Take some time out to contemplate on where it is that you want to go in the next stage of your life because you're about to start something new. There's about to be um, a new stage in your life that you're embarking on with this Six of Cups and the Fool card here. Or taking a chance, taking a risk on something. Maybe taking a risk on someone from the past. There could be a lot of thought that needs to be um, had in regards to this, right? And then, okay, well, this is flipped over. And card number nine with Treasure Island. This is such an auspicious card, pile number ones. So, like, yes, you are going to be blessed. You, you're about to be blessed. You're about to finally get your kind of, like, time in the sun, so to speak, right? Because you have held your vision, because you have um, really worked to balance yourself out as much as possible, right? It's not always going to be 50-50 when it comes to balance, right? Sometimes it's going to be 30-70 or 20-80 or 40-60, uh, right? I feel like we should all aim for more like 40-60, but at times we're, we're not going to always be equally balanced. That's actually not the sheer definition of that balance is like trying because that's perfection right it's trying to attain the closest balance we can get right so yeah but there's beauty coming in and treasure island is the card number nine and the hermit is a card number nine so i feel like you're finding some type of refuge within your solitude within yourself right now which is beautiful because i feel like you really need it during this full moon in uh, aquarius pile number one so let's reveal your gratitude card and it says celebrate milestones so you could be entering a milestone in your life milestone in your life right now pile number ones and appreciate the milestones that have come before you even if you're not celebrating a particular one right now it says don't skip over your chances to make happy memories yeah so s start saying yes to things start you know celebrating yourself celebrating others celebrating your milestones and how far you've come because with that gratitude and with that awareness of how far you've come even if you have you know further to go um it will make you feel good, right? It will give you the perspective that you need to be like, you know what? I'm actually doing okay. It's not as bad as it seems, okay? So let's see. I want to pull some, um, what is this deck? Soul Journey cards for you, pile number ones before we leave. I'm just going to pull three Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number ones during the super full moon in Aquarius. Okay. So we have fear. And it says, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So you know what? I'm just going to pull this card for you and leave it as that. I feel like a lot of you all are traversing your fears. You're getting over your fears. Um... And, you know, that's really going to benefit you. Now, I don't think you're getting over all of your fears at one time, but I feel like you're confronting maybe childhood fears uh, that you've had and that have been stagnated due to the suppression of them or due to just like maybe they're fears that you weren't totally aware of until recently and they start bubbling to the surface. So realizing that you are being test, you're testing your resolve to live in the energy of love is a great thing. So you could say affirmations like I am loved. Uh, you know, there's this Marianne Williamson quote that says, uh, I think I'm paraphrasing, but the only real thing is love while fear is a, a an illusion of the mortal mind, right? Like fear is an illusion. Love is the only truth. So I feel like you're coming to that understanding, to that wisdom, and it's going to make you a, a happier person, especially in, during this time in your life, pile number ones, okay? So I love you all, my pile number ones. Uh, that is all the time that I have for you today. If you like this reading, if it helped you in any way, please thumbs up this video, uh, share it, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in a beautiful one-of-a-kind tarot journal look no further the link to this journal will be in the description box down below um it's only 20 bucks and amazon will ship it straight to your house so with that being said my dreamy dreamers i love you so much and i'll see you in your next reading bye
Hey, pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So before we get into your tarot, into your oracle and your crystal selection card, let's shuffle for your reading. If you all would like to skip this part of the video, <clears throat> your timestamp will be in the description box below. All right, let's begin. What is bubbling up to the surface for our pile number ones during this super full moon in Aquarius? What's bubbling up to the surface for our pile number ones during this super full moon in the sign of Aquarius spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. What's bubbling up to the surface for pile number twos during this full moon in Aquarius? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, let's count these cards. Make sure there's 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You guys got 11, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them. But let's see. Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit. What is coming up to the surface for our pile number twos during this full moon, super full moon in Aquarius? Thank you. Okay, and we're going to do one gratitude card. What should pile number twos be grateful for? Okay, I didn't really see it, but we're going to put that here. Okay, so let's get into it. So pile number twos, you all chose the adjustments are required card third quarter moon. Okay. With the labdurite third eye, or that's what I call it, um, crystal. So in regards to your card selection, again, very straightforward adjustments are required right now. This could mean more work needs to be done in order to <clears throat> achieve some type of balance within yourself or um, a manifestation that you're looking to bring forth. There could have been an intention, <clears throat> excuse me, that you set during the third quarter moon um, that still needs some tweaking. Okay, maybe some more planning, some more writing, some more like letting go, releasing, right? Th that could be the adjustment that needs to take place is releasing, finally releasing it to the universe so that it could come back to you. Um, this could also be something in regards to your upper chakras, whether it be your crown chakra, your third eye chakra, or your throat chakra with this labdurite crystal. There's something spiritual taking place here. For you, pile number twos, in regards to the things that you want right now. But let's read a little bit of this third quarter moon. So we have... Think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way have been wonderful, but there's also a lot of negativity you need to let go of. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved, which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get to where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast now uh, that recent events have been understood and acted upon. OK, there may also be a crisis now, which will remind you of what you want and what it's time to let go. Of, so pay attention. So you're reevaluating the situation or there could be like this ideation of like, let me reevaluate this. It says your life may be out of balance and this may be causing your issue. It may be time to hatch a whole new plan. Something new and exciting is around the corner. Trust may be required to move this situation forward. So it says at the time of the third quarter moon, we know where we have been, but where are we going? The moon is now a half moon and slipping away from us as she catches less and less light towards the full disappearance at the new moon. It's time. It's a time of falling away and a time of reevaluation to reevaluate no matter when you draw this card, the teaching is to release and trust. So yeah, it's something that you need to release in order for this culmination 
of your desires, of your manifestations, of peace to enter into your life, okay? And again, with this labradorite crystal, this could have a lot to do with like psychic attacks, something that you're not releasing and it's bubbling up to the surface of like your conscious mind, right? With this labradorite crystal is what I'm getting. And you might feel like you're being attacked or like things are happening all at once. But in reality, it's almost like maybe you've been suppressing something and now adjustments are required in order to establish some type of peace or boundaries within yourself or with others. OK, but let's begin with your reading. We're going to start with uh, your heavenly body astrology cards. So this is the 10th house with structure, discipline, life mission, accomplishments, and career. Yeah. So I feel like some of you all could be like, where is a growth in my career? Where is a growth in, um, you know, myself right now? How can I more structure myself? Right. And with the owl here, there's a huge owl here. There's this intuitive nudge guiding you somewhere trust where it's guiding you, because I feel like maybe you've been like, kind of like dusting off, like whatever's been coming to you intuitively that you know you need to do, but you've been putting it on the back burner. And right now what's being called for is adjustments and not put placing it on the back burner anymore, but actually um, bringing it to the forefront or it's being brought to the forefront of your attention. And now you, you can't even ignore it anymore. Okay, nice. So we have a uh, conjunction and it says a union merging and coming together. So maybe uh, the things in your career, uh, the thing, you know, you being more disciplined in your career and in your life's missions in regards to accomplishments are coming together finally for you. Right. Because you maybe you did adjust um, your expectations. You adjusted your plan. You actually made a plan. Right. Maybe you got tired of being sick and tired and you started to do things a little bit differently, right? In our last card, we have yin with intuition, trust, patience, and spirituality and receptivity. So yeah, again, this is like intuitive nudges, intuitive hits that you have taken heed to. And like the adjustments and requirements, um, third quarter moon suggested, it's time to trust now. Now it's time to release it, whatever you've been wanting and whatever you've been asking for into the ethers and trust. And literally on this, um, on this card, it says, you know, patience and trust, which mirrors your, um, power selection card. Okay. So this is definitely a confirmation. Some of you all might be Tauruses, Cancers, um, Scorpios, Virgos, Capricorns, or um, Pisces, okay, or could be embodying that energy right now. Or you could have those signs highly aspected in your chart, or they could be the signs in your 10th house to where you really need to start embodying that in order to um, structure your life in the way you want it to be, right? Because the 10th house is all about like your persona when it comes to your, your career path and like how you shine in, in that area, right? Okay, so let's, um, yeah, let's get into your tarot pile number twos. You guys actually got 11 cards. I just kept the last one because I just felt compelled to, but let's see. We have the Ace of Swords. So clarity is coming and a victory is coming in for you, which is amazing. We have the Hierophant. Yeah, definitely wising up. I feel like you're wising up. You're knowing that you need to change and shift and adjust in order to get to the next level in your life. Because if you want to level up, you have to maybe start even being a little bit more... Um structured right the hierophant is all about structure and established uh, establishments right established establishments whether that be going back to school whether that be learning more whether that be acquiring more wisdom but i feel like you have a lot of wisdom you have a lot of knowledge of self and you have a lot of spiritual knowledge that's coming up right now so we have the ten of pentacles which is beautiful you could be being blessed right now through an institution, maybe a loan is going, coming through. Maybe there's some form of legacy that you really um, are a part of that is uh, really going to provide benefit for you during this time with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles in the tarot is one of the highest forms of wealth and uh, an embodiment of um, 
almost like structure in every aspect of your life, whether that be life, career, you name it. So there's a lot of victorious kind of like leveling up energy here. We have the Knight of Swords. This could be coming in very quickly, or maybe you're having rampant thoughts about you wanting to get to this Ten of Pentacles as soon as possible. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, but it requires releasing. You have to release certain things in order to get to this Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Which I feel like you, you're going to. You're about to, okay? Or you, you know you're conscientious of what you need to release now. So you're going to get about releasing it. But let's clarify these five cards. We have the Emperor. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely about career. This is definitely about like the things that you want in life and, and being autonomous in self, right? And being able to construct a, a life for your own. And being in a state of power as well and feeling empowered, okay, with the Hierophant and the Emperor. You're a leader. You're a leader, period, period, dot, pound, pound, number two. So just accept it and embrace it and learn how to adjust to this because sometimes it takes time to adjust to leadership, uh, even if we're made for it, right? Even if we're built for it, if we don't practice it and if we don't exercise it like a muscle, we'll lose the abilities with everything, right? It's a, it's a learned, acquired skill. So with the Hierophant, we have the Knight of Cups, okay? Yeah, I just feel like there is this new maybe commitment you want to make to yourself and others. Some of you could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could be dealing with water signs, or maybe a lot more fluid energy is required, in order for this to um, you to embody your higher self, right? And your passions, right? I feel like you're leveling up in your passions and your in your pursuits. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords. So you could be feeling a little defeated right now with your finances and stuff. And this is where all this energy is coming from with the adjustments. You know that adjustments need to be made right now in your life. And uh, I feel like you're going to go about doing that, whatever you need to do to get to this Ten of Pentacles. Or that's what your spirit guides, that's what God's spirit source energy is asking you to do during this time. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords with the Three of Cups. So I feel like you're going to be celebrating something soon, pile number twos. Like some some type of good news, some type of celebratory energy is going to be coming in quickly for you. Um, this could be a friendship group or maybe um, there could be some fast action, fat, quick thoughts about a friendship group that's coming in or, or some type of celebratory, some type of celebration. Okay, and then we have the Four of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. So you're going to be letting go of certain maybe childhood beliefs that you had about yourself, about other people, about what you deserved, about what you don't deserve. I feel like there's a lot of adjustments that are required in regards to like preconceived notions that you had as a child or growing up or that was programmed into you and you're going to let it go. It could have been like a state of lack. I'm getting a buzzing in my right ear. That's pretty loud. So that could be right on the mark, pile number twos. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe there's a, even an ancestor or a guy near you that really wants you to let go of like something that you've been holding on to for like dear life. Let's see. The last card is the sun. How beautiful. So yeah, so things are really looking up for you. Things are looking up. You're gaining clarity. You're gaining truth. Um, and I feel like you're also gaining happiness too in regards to the things that, um, you know, you possess and you know that is beneficial for you, okay? You're going to get a lot of definitely a lot of clarity this full moon in Aquarius, but you're also going to be waving the red flag of victory and you're going to feel seen and you're going to feel seen and heard even in your most vulnerable states, right? With the sun card. This is very beautiful. 
Okay, so let's start wrapping up your reading with some or uh, wisdom of the oracle cards. So we have card number 25, round and round. Yeah, you're going to be releasing something that just keeps coming up, keeps coming up, you know? And this could be repressed or suppressed childhood memories that you're just finally releasing. Or you're going to ask a uh, spirit to release um, during this super full moon. Oh my God, I love this. File number two is card number 26. Happy, happy. After card number 25. So whatever you've been going through, it hasn't been in vain. You're going to find happiness and uh, abundance in regards to releasing these uh, old antiquated you know, beliefs about yourself or you know, whatever you have adjusted, you're going to find happiness in um, maneuvering through whatever it is that you needed to get through in order to find this happiness and this joy and this abundance that's coming in. Cause I feel like you did whatever you needed to do. And our last card we have is card number 27. How synchronistic is this reading? We have card number 25, card number 26 and card number 27 exchanging gifts. Yeah. So you're definitely being bestowed a gift here from your ancestors, from your younger self, from your, from your inner child pile number, um, pile number um twos excuse me that's really that's really going to benefit you because you've been so beneficial to others and it could be a raise it could be a promotion um in your career or uh in whatever it is that you're doing to uh, make money or like um there could be some type of recognition uh, being bestowed upon you here in regards to your your work and your, your acts of service, okay? So let's continue to end your reading. We have a gratitude card here, so let's reveal what it is. It says unplug. I love this. Avoid negative media and people for an entire day. Yeah, I feel like you really, during this full moon, turn it off. Cut off your phone really try not to engage too much you know if people are trying to ch check on you you could text them be like hey i'm okay just give me a day you know you could warn them but spirit wants you to spend time with spirit right now spirit wants you to spend time with god spirit source energy and unplug okay so yeah so yeah pile number um twos one more card before we conclude your reading, advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude pile number two's reading. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude our pile number two's reading spirit. Thank you. So we have humor. I love this. Pile number two. I love this for you. It says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I feel like you're going to really um, kind of use that uh, charming um, Leo energy right now that um, everyone's being endowed with and be humorous and laugh at yourself and really like uh, be on the lighter side of life instead of thinking about doom and gloom all the time or what isn't working, right? And this could happen through unplugging this could happen through being um through being able to cultivate some time within to just like really enjoy yourself and really enjoy the company of yourself and the company of others pile number twos okay so with that being said my dreamy dreamers i love you so much angels uh if you like this reading if it resonated please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today if you all are interested in a beautiful one-of-a-kind tarot journal look no further the link to this journal will be in the description box down below it's only 20 bucks and amazon will ship it straight to your house okay so i love you my dreamy dreamers and i'll see you in your next reading bye hey pile number threes welcome back to your reading so before we get to your card and your crystal selection let's shuffle for your reading for those of you who would like to skip this part of the reading your timestamp will be in the description box down below so let's begin what is bubbling up to the surface for our pile number threes during this super full moon in Aquarius spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to pull 10 tarot cards. What's bubbling up to the surface 
for our pile number threes during this full supermoon in Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Five more cards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. What is bubbling up to the surface for our pile number threes during this full moon in Aquarius? Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. So let's get one gratitude card. What should our pile number threes be grateful for right now? Let's do this one. I'm going to put it right here. All right, pile number threes, let's begin your reading. Okay, so you all chose... You all chose you are good enough for moon in Virgo. So the messages have been very blatant. <laughs> so I feel like um, the the emotions that could be bubbling up to the surface right now for you, pile number ones, are feelings of self, self-worth, right? Feelings of self-worth, feeling worthy enough to have your desires, to have what you want in your life, right? And full moon in Virgo, Virgos are, are very... Um, they can be martyrs, right? So they can really be martyrs for the people that they love or the people that they know or even the people that they're just close to, right? And I feel like um, you need to hear and you need to acknowledge that you are good enough to have anything that you want in your life, to have and uh, obtain your desires, right? Um, I do want to read a little bit of this full moon and Virgo card just to get more descriptions of this card. So it says, it's time to be really honest with yourself and understand what's led you to ask your question. Have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing? I feel like many of you have been. Uh, humility is good, but it can only go too far. And drawing this card suggests you may be underrating yourself. You don't have to be flash, just quietly certain that you are good enough. Exactly. At the other end of the scale, you also need to be honest. You also need to and honestly answer this question. Have you been too picky? Virgos are notorious for being super picky. So it says a full moon in Virgo card needs some truthful answers. Once you've given them, it should be easier to see how you got where you are. Your next step should then be more obvious to you. Pay attention to the details. Hard work brings results, right? Sometimes, uh, pile number threes, you might find yourself not working hard, not working towards your goals because you have this deep underlying uh belief that you aren't good enough to attain your goals so you just won't even work towards them and that could be a message for a lot of you all um so it says find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your life worrying too much will attract more things to worry about have you been over critical lately an apology may be in order stop second guessing yourself Car uh, raise your karma by doing something good for someone else. So it says the full moon in Virgo is a time to declutter your life, your home, and your office. It's time to sort what's good in your life from what's not serving you. It's also the time to clear out your energies via salt baths and meditations and to practice getting more grounded by walking barefoot. No matter when you draw this card, it's a reminder that any time is a good time to start living a healthier life. So a lot of you all could be tuning into your health, could be tuning into some really good routines that will keep you grounded and, uh, you know, keep you moving forward in regards to what you want to pursue. Now, going to the watermelon tourmaline, it says uh, this is a super activator of the heart chakra. So your heart chakra could be wide open right now. And it's no surprise given that we're in Leo season and we're in the crux of um, or we're heading into the crux of the Lionsgate portal. Now, it says... Um, Linking it to the higher self, fostering love, tenderness, and friendship, the stone instills patience and teaches tact and diplomacy, alleviating depression and fear. It promotes inner security. Very interesting. Watermelon tourmaline is, it assists understanding of situations and expressing intentions clearly. It treats emotional dysfunction and helps 
excuse me, helps releases old pain. Yeah. Watermelon tourmaline is beneficial for relationships and helps to find joys in situation and healing watermelon tourmaline dissolves any resistance to becoming whole once more. It encourages regeneration of the nerves, especially in paralysis or multiple sclerosis and treats stress. So if you've been stressed or been finding yourself stressed, pile number uh, threes, it is good to keep a watermelon tourmaline around you. Okay. But without further or uh, further delay, let's begin your reading. So we're going to start with the Heavenly Body Tarot uh, astrology cards here, okay? So we have Uranus radically change. <laughs> That's very frank. We have water with spiritual spirituality, emotion, intuition, and compassion. And then last but not least, uh, we have Jupiter will grow and expand. I feel like you have been growing and expanding through radical changes, pile number threes, or you're being urged to radically change the way you feel or emote um, how you're growing, how you're expanding, right? And Jupiter is uh, the traditional ruler of Pisces. And it's the current ruler of Sagittarius. So, you know, you could be seeing a lot of expansion in uh, your life right now, which is a radical change from, you know, where you where you have been. Or you could be seeing a lot of expansion in, excuse me, in your um, in your emotional life right now. Right. And I think Aquarius rules Uranus. So. This super full moon in Aquarius could be really expanding you beyond your comfort zone right now. Pile number three is okay. So you're feeling it. <laughs> so let's get into your tarot. I pulled 10 cards. We're going to pull five and then use the other five to clarify. So let's begin. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you could have could be stuck in self-imposed limitations because of old things bubbling to the surface, right? You're growing right now and growth is, is challenging for a lot of us, pile number three. So I feel like uh, you could be putting yourself in limitations or binding yourself where you could easily break out of these restraints that you put yourself in. We have the Four of Cups, okay? You could be just, could be a little feelings of depression here or apathy, like nothing is worth doing, you know? But I feel like you're kind of, leaning into the apathy and boredom instead of like breaking yourself out of it because you can easily do it because I feel like there's a lot of good things going on in your life pile number threes but you're not acknowledging it right like this four of cups would, would suggest you're being giving offers left and right but you're just not acknowledging it we have the eight of wands okay <clears throat> I'm getting what you focus on grows quickly and what you focus on comes at you. So if you, you might need to radically change the way you've been thinking and feeling because they're, you know, during this full moon, you're going to be getting a lot of what you don't want. If that's what you're focused on. I'm also, yeah. So we have the queen of wands. Okay. So I'm also getting though, with this eight of wands, there could be a lot of change coming in, uh, to your life very quickly and you could be kind of turning the situation around and feeling better. So it's interesting because you see this eight of wands and then you see this queen of wands with her staff right here. It's giving nine of wands. So I feel like you're catching on to what's happening in your emotional life quickly and in your mental life quickly. So you're like, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> like, let me flip the script and you're putting up boundaries, right? Because I'm equating the eight of wands with this ninth wand here that the queen of uh, wands is holding. And you're like, heck to the gnaw, I'm changing this crap, right? And then we have the eight of cups here. You're walking away from the things that don't serve you. You're, you're establishing your boundaries and you're maintaining uh, the boundaries even with yourself, right? And look, we have 888. Eight, eight. So there's an abundance coming in. It could be during this 8-8 eight, eight portal, but you're you're going to be experiencing a lot of abundance if you walk away from the things that don't serve you. And one thing that I like so far, we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves here. But one thing that I like so far, this is a very temporary feeling of like apathy, of like feeling disconnected with yourself or like that you're putting yourself down or, you know, you're feeling kind of like, restricted right now because there's no major arcanas but like i said we have not we're not done with the reading so but you're walking away 
you're walking to your to your desired outcome here with the eight of cups. OK, so clarifying the eight of swords is a two of wands. I feel like you're you're starting to feel like your old self again. You're starting to uh, get back on the right path. OK, get back to realizing the world is your oyster. Uh, you can do have and be anything you want. You might have to split forces, right? You can't do everything yourself. So I feel like you're going to be delegating and uh, maybe that won't lead you to feeling overwhelmed once you delegate tasks and once you feel like, oh, I'm restricted. I, I can't do it because I can't do it all, right? You're coming out of that. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands with the uh, Four of Cups in reverse. So I feel like things, it came in reverse, but I feel like things are easing up in your life. Um, you know, you're basically going to make it to where it is that you're headed. You're not that far away. And the Ten of Wands is like kind of like feeling overwhelmed, feeling um, like you have too much on your plate to the point where you feel stuck. So you don't move. You don't accomplish anything because you have too much on your plate. But I feel like uh, the intensity of having too much on your plate or feeling overwhelmed or feeling overburdened is that... Um, you know, it leads us to kind of like just stay in place because when we're overwhelmed, sometimes we'd rather not do anything because we don't know where to begin. But I feel like you're coming out of that pile number threes. Okay, so with the eight of wands here, we have the magician again, as above, so below, as within, so without. So like I was suggesting, I feel like you're turning the tide, you're turning around the things that you know like, you know, you don't need to be thinking about, right? You're turning around that apathetic state because you are the magician. You're the master manifester. And that goes in both ways. You can manifest grace. You can manifest abundance. You can manifest the things that you want, or you can manifest the complete opposite of that, right? And I feel like you're privy to that. So you're like, no, let me clean it up and get it together. Okay. Yeah. The two of swords, I feel like you're making, making peace with the decisions that you've made, right? And you're coming into the decisions like, you know, the two of swords, she kind of wants to be blind. Like she wants to not see what's happening. But because if she saw it, then she would have to confront it. Um, and I feel like you're kind of putting this guard up. Uh, this mental block up with your heart, but that's slowly coming down. That's slowly disintegrating because it's going to help you to make peace uh, and be in a place of stillness right now, pile number threes. As much as you might want to do, 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 I feel like, you know, knowing that in due time, you will get to where you're going. You might want to silence the mind, still the mind. I'm getting with this card, peace, be still. You might want to meditate and contemplate on certain things as well. So last card to clarify the Eight of Cups is the Ace of Cups. Yeah. What did I say? You're moving. You're walking towards your wish fulfillment. This is the Ace of Cups. This is one cup, eight cups, right? You're walking towards your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. So I love that. You're walking towards your happiness. You're walking towards feeling satiated again with life. Um, and you know that you're good enough. You're walking toward filling your cup back up. Cause I feel like for a lot of you all pile number threes, you've been feeling depleted. I know I have, and I've been trying to shy away from the depletion too. Like, Oh, it's nothing. Da, 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 I'll get over it. No, it hit me like a ton of bricks <laughs> yesterday, last night to be exact when I was alone, my thoughts when I was alone. So I know I'm not, I'm not alone here. So let's, let's get into the rest of your reading with the wisdom of the Oracle deck. We have card number 44, thinker. Again, really contemplate, really meditate. We have four and four, four plus four is eight. So abundance, there's this like perpetuation of something too, is what I'm getting that you're finally like nipping in the bud here. We have card number 28, again with the eights, building blocks. Yeah, you're looking forward to really building something, rebuilding yourself, rebuilding your self-esteem, re rebuilding your self-worth because you know you're you're worth it. You're, you're worth to put into right two and eight uh that's ten one and zero that's one you're starting fresh you're building from the ground up and not even from the ground up right because this person is sitting on a foundation she's building from that foundation she's cultivated 
And our last card here is we have card number six, not for you. You're leaving things that just are not for you. You're making peace with what isn't for you and you're leaving it like you're leaving it behind. And it could be just ruminating thoughts. It could be like thinking too deeply about situations that you can change, but you're not changing. Right. You're leaving. Oh, you're leaving. And what isn't for you are these feelings of inadequacies and self-worthlessness like you are super worth it pile number um threes and i feel like you're not even looking at what isn't for you anymore you see how this lady is like looking in the distance to what she wants not what she does not want she like doesn't care it's like you're blind you're being blind to what you don't want you don't care you're 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 maintaining your chi and your focus on the things that you really want it might even require during this full supermoon to like be by yourself to really list out, do a mood board, do a vision board, something of how you want the next five months of the year to pan out or the next year in your life. You're going to structure something so well to the point where your tunnel vision in regards to what is for you and what you know is for you versus what isn't for you. And what isn't for you is like apathy is like, depression is thinking thoughts that don't serve you and that are self-imposed limitations right that's what isn't for that's what's not for you okay so let's reveal what you should be feeling grateful for right now i love this it says enjoy the routine okay it says it may not be exciting but it means everything it means everything is smoke it means everything is flowing smoothly i could not get that out pile number Three, so yeah, enjoy the routine. Just like a methodical Virgo, just bask in what you're doing. You know, just bask in it. Just be in the present moment um, and, 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 and enjoy it. Because by the time you know it, it's going to be over. And then you're going to be like, wow, that went so quickly. That went so smoothly. How great was that, right? So want to pull one more card to end your reading from the life, I think the soul's journey, oracle card. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number threes to conclude their reading spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for pile number threes. Okay, let's see. We have empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So be more empathetic with yourself. <clears throat> be more empathetic with others right now. I feel like you are very empathetic pile number three so that's not something you really struggle with but i feel like you struggle with having more empathy for you you know be your own best friend right now be your own mo mother yourself right now is what i'm getting see both sides of where you're coming from as well because that will help you to continue on your path right and it will give you a friend in yourself and sometimes that's all we need because that's all we can really depend on <clears throat> you know, God in ourselves. So we have at the bottom of the deck success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Exactly. Love yourself. When you love yourself and love what you do and how you do it, in the words of Maya Angelou, you are successful. So yeah, pile number threes, that is all the time that I have for you, my dreamy dreamers. I love you so much, my angels. Um, if you're interested, oh, if you like this video, if it helped you any, like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. If you all are interested in a beautiful, one-of-a-kind tarot journal, look no further. The link to this journal will be in the description box down below. It's gorgeous, and you guys will really love the prompts in here. And, um, You'll just love this journal. It's amazing. So uh, it's 20 bucks and Amazon will ship it straight to your house. Link is in the description box below. And yeah, I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers. And I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Ending this on 11111 on the timestamp too. Just on, well, now I did it, but yeah. Okay, I love you. Bye.